y'all. Welcome back to Rated RPG. I'm Ray, your host. Um, wow. Uh, sorry I didn't post anything yesterday, and I was really hesitant to post anything today just because I've been sick as a dog. Uh, yesterday I just felt so terrible I couldn't even get myself in front of the camera, and today I had to come home early from work uh, <coughs> all over the place. Uh, but I figure uh, I could try to stand here for five, ten minutes and talk about video games at the very least. Uh, do something productive today, at least. So today we are talking Nintendo Direct. Uh, just watched it. I didn't even watch it yesterday. That's how sick I was. Uh, just watched it, and let's talk about it. There was a lot in here. Let, let me do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 video games discussed in this direct. That is big. That is E3 huge. So I'm very impressed by Nintendo. There's not a lot on here in this game games list that I'm going to be playing, but there are definitely some good gems in there, and a few of these will be getting their own dedicated videos. Uh, but let's just run through it. Overwatch. Still popular, I guess. Uh, nothing I really ever got into when it first came out. I thought it was actually going to be some sort of animated movie uh, when the first trailers came out, and I was so disappointed when it wasn't. Uh, but, hey, uh, good on Blizzard getting that on there. Luigi's Mansion is getting expansions. Uh, I've never really gone for the mascot titles, the classic mascot titles, so it's not really appealing to me, but I do know that those types of games have followings. Uh, similarly, Kirby Clash. Uh, basically, it looks like a four-player co-op boss rush, and it says free to start, so that's either going to mean you're going to progress to a certain point at which point you need to pay to play once you get to a certain level or whatever, or there will be microtransactions later on. It's not horrible. I mean, you can base, I mean, you can go play WoW up until level 20 or whatever, or at least that used to be the thing back in the day. You could play, play a bunch of different online games free to play until you hit a level cap. You can do the same thing with Final Fantasy 14, I believe. Uh, the Trials of Mana remake, we just got some updated information, uh, release date. Uh, interesting thing I didn't know, there are six main characters, but you only get to play three of, as three of them at any playthrough. And that's going to affect how you progress in the game. That's something I'm very interested in, and it says a lot for replayability later on. So definitely interested there. Return of the Ober Din. My brother-in-law talks about this game. He says it's great. I honestly have never played it, and the aesthetic is not one that I'm really interested in. That It just doesn't look my speed, but uh, hey, it's got a following. Uh, Little Town Hero, this one I'm not super excited about. I need more information. It's from Game Freak, the same people who make Pokemon, and it's got a cutesy look to it, and I'm just not sure what the... I'm just not even really sure what this game is. So I just need more information there. Uh, we got a Smash update for everyone crying their eyes out in either sadness or happiness. They're finally getting their Banjo-Kazooie, which is available now. Uh, next character in the Fighter Pass un uh, revealed, and I'm happy to see this. It's Terry Bogard from... Fatal Fury. If you watch my videos, you know I'm an SNK fan. Hello, Neo Geo. Uh, so, yeah, definitely happy to see that. I would have also liked to see uh, maybe my shooter new in there as well. But, hey, get what you can take. And I know this is probably going to be more of a niche character because there's not a huge population of people who are dedicated SNK fans here in the United States. I'm willing to bet this was more for the Japanese audiences. Uh, let's see. Link's Awakening, some updates there. I've actually only ever played Twilight Princess, and I never finished it, and parts of Wind Waker. I think I got through maybe two temples in Wind Waker. I got through like 80% of Twilight Princess before I stopped playing it. So my wife is the Zelda fan in this household, and she's... Uh, can't wait for this. She says Link's Awakening was her favorite 
uh, Zelda game back in the day, so she's exceptionally happy about this remake. I haven't really experienced Zelda, so I can't really say one way or the other. Uh, let's see. Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition. I have it on the PS4. I've started it, haven't finished it. I love the turn-based RPGs. I love Final Fantasy. I love Dragon Quest. Um, I at first was not excited about this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a wait because I want to see if they're gonna re-release and do another uh, special edition, the definitive edition for the PS4, because that's where I would prefer to play it. But I may, if they don't, I'm probably gonna end up picking it up just so that I can have that 2D experience on the Switch. Yes, I know why play through buy a game that you've already played before when you already have essentially the same thing, but I like those extra features and I'm just that big of a Dragon Quest and uh, Final Fantasy fan. Okay, here's one I'm actually very happy to see. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. This is a remaster port of Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which was on the Wii U. I never owned a Wii U because it was a garbage console uh, for the most part. And I basically had only one game for the Wii U that I wanted to get, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. And I've just been putting it on the back burner saying I'm, I've got a bunch of other things I need to get before I get a Wii U. Got to get a Saturn, got to get a... A uh, bunch of Dreamcast games, got to get a bunch of Saturn games, etc., etc., etc. Got to get a bunch of SNES, NES games. But uh, this is definitely worth the investment for me because this is the one game from the Wii U that I wanted, and I'm happy that it's now going to be there. Maybe that in Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, let's see, Deadly Premonitions 1 and 2. I'm recently starting to get into these horror survival games. It's not really been my style in the past, but hey, I like Dark Souls now. So I figured why not try and give a bunch of these horror survival games a try. I've got Resident Evil ready to go over here uh, whenever I do get to it. Uh, Deadly Premonitions was a weird one, though, back in the... Was it on the PS1 or PS2? I can't remember. Where you're playing a FBI agent who gets cryptic warnings about the future from the patterns in his coffee. That's what I think it was about. Most of my knowledge is coming from the PlayStation Access video that featured it. Uh, Deadly Premonitions 2. We'll see what we'll see what we'll see what's up. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. This is one of those games where I would think I would be interested in it, but I'm honestly not. I hear that it's a great and fantastic game, but it's a little too MMO-ish for me. Just the isometric style and whatnot. So, not going there, but I'm happy to see that it's getting ported because it's an amazing game from what I hear from everybody who has played it. And so I'm happy that it's getting more traction. Uh, Doom 64, Pete Hines showed up, and nobody wanted to see that. Nobody wanted to see Pete Hines. But Doom 64, never played a Doom game, but... Uh, Getting ported. Just another Bethesda classic game getting ported because that's how they're going to make their money nowadays because they're not doing so great otherwhere, other places. Uh, Rogue Company, this basically looks like just another Clash game, another, uh, I don't know, Battle Royale, Apex Legends type thing. I'm not interested in it. I guess just the Switch needed their own Battle Royale type game. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. They spent a little time there. Not as much time focusing on the things I would have liked, though. I am going to be picking up Sword and Shield, uh, but they the things they focused on were more customization of your avatar, which is, sure, great, fine. I did not care for the customization options in Sun and Moon because everything was board shorts and tank tops. I don't There are people who wear pants in Hawaii. Come on. Uh... Pokemon Camp, which just looks like another mini game where you uh, move the stylus and pet your Pokemon. Sure, raise affection. Uh, Pokemon Curry. I don't know why they spent so much time on this talking about how there's over a hundred different variations of curry you can learn to make. That's a lot of curry. And they just spent a long time focusing on that. Uh, new Pokemon. A couple, they showed us new po two new Pokemon from the Gala region. Uh, Pol Poltergeist, which is a ghost Pokemon, I'm assuming. 
but it's kind of creepy because it's like its body is made of made of tea, and if it trusts you, it'll let you drink its tea. And it's like I don't want to drink a Pokemon. No, thank you. Uh, and Cramorant, the which I'm guessing is based on a cormorant, and it's basically it's a bird. It basically looks like that stupid duckling, silly, whatever bird from Gen 4. Whatever. Uh, they're going to put a bunch of SNES games for Nintendo Online, which I hear has not been great. I don't have Nintendo Online. I haven't been drawn to it, and I'm still not drawn to it. They put 20 new games. I'm not going to run through them on SNES games on Nintendo Online. They got their own special controller, which they're like, only in Nintendo Online members can buy this special SNES controller, and I bet there will be a ripoff within a week. Uh, Tetris, who cares? Mario and Sonic Olympics, not my speed. Like I said, I don't go for the mascot games. Uh, Damon X Machina, this is a uh, mecha fighting game, which... I understand there's a niche community out there of mecha lovers who've been wanting one for a long time. Uh, so I haven't given this game as much attention as I should. I probably should do some more research about it. It could be good. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Outcast 2. I have that on my shelf. Right. Nope, that's Jedi Knight 1. So I still need to pick up the original Xbox version of Jedi Knight Outcast 2. Uh, okay, great. It's a, it's a port of a good game. Yay. Uh, but it's not a new Star Wars game, which is what people want, but EA won't give us. Uh, Witcher 3, we've known about this for a while. Assassin's Creed Rebels. I was actually a little infuriated by this one because it's like, hello, we have Assassin's Creed Four in Assassin's Creed Row coming to the Switch. Woo! And I'm like, okay, great. If you can put that on the Switch, Ubisoft, why can't you give us a physical release of Assassin's Creed Rogue on the PS4? Because you're getting a physical one over there on the Switch. So, grr. I would pay... Uh, I would, I, yes, I want a physical release of Assassin's Creed Rogue, which, honestly, I could get if I just went ahead and... Uh, bought one from the PAL regions, which is what I'm probably going to end up doing. But still, come on, guys. Uh, let's see. Dauntless, Monster Hunter, but cute. Just Dance, who cares? Grid Autosport, it's a racing game. I know nothing about those. Farming Sim, there's apparently a bigger following for Farming Simulator than I thought. Uh, let's see. Nino Kuni, yay. I'm going to be getting the PS4 version. NBA 2K, no yay. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, I know nothing. Outer Worlds, PS4 version, thank you. Devil May Cry 2, I mean, I have the HD collection. Vampire, didn't play it. Animal Crossing, they spent a lot of time on Animal Crossing. I mean, way too much time in my opinion. Uh, finally, the one I am excited about, Xenoblade Chronicles. Let's see. This is one of the few Wii games I have, because most of the Wii games I don't care about. And they did very few R full RPGs on the Wii, uh, but I'm excited to see it's getting ported, remastered for the Switch. That will make it much easier to play. Uh, looking forward to it. So that's pretty much everything from the Nintendo Direct. I think it was a very good conference, uh, better than some other E3 conferences this last summer, and... Uh, I just hope Nintendo keeps it up. I mean, honestly, I'm a PlayStation guy, but I'm also all for Nintendo because they kind of do their own thing. Uh, so I'm all for Nintendo. Sure. Good job, Nintendo. Keep it up. Thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Hey there. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.